page 124. Lesson 10. The Banyan Tree Before you read, have you seen a mongoose? You have read in Lesson 9 that a mongoose can fight with and kill a snake. Look at the pictures and read the lines given along with them. The fight of the cobra and the mongoose is a classic drama often seen in India and the outcome is largely the same. The mongoose is not immune to the venomous bite but is faster and quicker in motion than the snake. The cobra assumes a posture of defense and attempts to reach the animal by a sweeping strike but the quick-moving mongoose jumps out of reach and comes at the snake from another direction. Before the snake can get into striking position again, this constant movement tires and discourages the snake and the mongoose is finally able to leap in close and bury its teeth in the snake's neck, usually severing the joints of its vertebra. Page 125 2. You must have seen a banyan tree. This is a story about what the author saw as a young boy when he was sitting in an old banyan tree in his grandfather's house. Part 1. 1. Though the house and grounds belonged to my grandparents, the magnificent old banyan tree was mine chiefly because grandfather at 65 could no longer climb it. 2. Its spreading branches, which hung to the ground and took root again, forming a number of twisting passages, gave me endless pleasure. Among them were squirrels and snails and butterflies. The tree was older than the house, older than grandfather, as old as Dehradun itself. I could hide myself in its branches behind thick green leaves and spy on the world below. 3. My first friend was a small grey squirrel. Arcing his back and sniffing into the air, he seemed at first to resent my invasion of his privacy. But when he found that I did not arm myself with catapult or air gun, he became friendly. And when I started bringing him pieces of cake and biscuit, he grew quite bold and was soon taking morsels from hand. Before long, he was delving into my pockets and helping himself to whatever he could find. He was a very young squirrel and his friends and relatives probably thought him foolish and headstrong for trusting a human. Some new words in the box of page 125. Spy means watch secretly. Resent means dislike, feel angry about. Morsels means small pieces of food. Delving means going deep into. Page 126. 4. In the spring, when the banyan tree was full of small red figs, birds of all kinds would flock into its branches, the red-bottomed bulbul, cheerful and greedy parrots, mina and crows squabbling with one another. During the fig season, the banyan tree was the noisiest place in the garden. 5. Halfway up the tree, I had built a crude platform where I would spend the afternoons when it was not too hot. I could read there, propping myself up against the tree with a cushion from the living room. Treasure Island, Huckleberry Finn and the story of Dr. Doolittle were some of the books that made up my banyan tree library. New words in the box in page 126. During the fig season means the time when figs appeared. Propping myself up means leaning against. Page 127 6 When I did not feel like reading, I could look down through the leaves at the world below. 
and on one particular afternoon i had a grandstand view of that classic of the indian wilds a fight between a mongoose and a cobra part 2 7 the warm breezes of approaching summer had sent everyone including the gardener into the house i was feeling drowsy myself wondering if i should go to the pond and have a swim with ramu and the buffaloes when i saw a huge black cobra gliding out of a clump of cactus at the same time a mongoose emerged from the bushes and went straight for the cobra 8 in a clearing beneath the banyan tree in a bright sunshine they came face to face the cobra knew only too well that the grey mongoose three feet long was a superb fighter clever and aggressive but the cobra too was a skillful and experienced fighter he could move swiftly and strike with the speed of light and the sacs behind his long sharp fangs were full of deadly poison it was to be a battle of champions new words in the box of page 127 grandstand view means a clear view from the best position a grandstand is a large covered space with rows of seats for people to watch sports gliding means moving smoothly clump means group of bushes or trees emerged came out clearing an open space in a forest where there are no trees sacs a part of an animal or plant shaped like a bag fangs long sharp teeth of a snake or dog page 128 9 hissing defiance his forked tongue darting in and out the cobra raised 3 of his 6 feet off the ground and spread his broad spectacled hood the mongoose bushed his tail the long hair on his spine stood up 10 though the combatants were unaware of my presence in the tree they were soon made aware of the arrival of two other spectators one was a mayana the other a jungle crow they had seen these preparations for battle and had settled on the cactus to watch the outcome had they been content only to watch all would have been well with both of them new words in the box of page 128 defiance means rebellion or resistance dart move quickly suddenly combatants participants in a fight spectators those who watch a show a game etc outcome result page 129 11 the cobra stood on the defensive swaying slowly from side to side trying to mesmerize the mongoose into making a false move but the mongoose knew the power of his opponent's glassy unwinking eyes and refused to meet them instead he fixed his gaze at a point just below the cobra's hood and opened the attack 12 moving forward quickly until he was just within the cobra's reach the mongoose made a pretended move to one side immediately the cobra struck His great hoot came down so swiftly that I thought nothing could save the mongoose but the little fellow jumped neatly to one side and darted in as swiftly as the cobra biting the snake on the back and darting away again out of reach 13 at the same moment that the cobra struck the crow and the mynah hurled themselves at him only to collide heavily in mid air shrieking in sals at each other they returned to the cactus plant a few drops of blood glistened on the cobra's back 14 the cobra struck and missed again the mongoose sprang aside jumped in and bit 
again the birds dived at the snake bumped into each other instead and returned shrieking to the safety of the cactus new words in the box of page 129 mesmerize here magically persuade a false move an unwise action glistened shown page 130 15 the third round followed the same course as the first but with one dramatic difference the crow and the mina still determined to take part in the proceedings dived at the cobra but this time they missed each other as well as their mark the mina flew on and reached its perch but the crow tried to pull up in mid air and turn back in the second that it took the bird to do this the cobra whipped his head back and struck with great force his snout thudding against the crow's body 16 i saw the bird flung nearly 20 feet across the garden it fluttered about for a while then lay still the mina remained on the cactus plant and went the snake and the mongoose returned to the fight very wisely decided not to interfere again the cobra was weakening and the mongoose walking fearlessly up to it raised himself on his short legs and with the lighting snap had the big snake by the snout the cobra writh and lashed about in a frightening manner and even coiled itself about the mangoes but to no avail the little fellow hung grimly on until the snake had ceased to struggle he then smelt along its quivering length gripped it round the hood and dragged it into the bushes new words in the box page 130 round here a stage in a fight or competition pull up here stop whipped whipped back moved back suddenly snout the noise and mouth of an animal page 131 17 the mina dropped cautiously to the ground hopped about peered into the bushes from a safe distance and then with a shrill cry of congratulation flew away by ruskin bond difficult word in the box of page 131 to no avail means with no success working with the text a complete the following sentences 1 The old banyan tree did not belong to grandfather but only to the boy because page 132 2 the small gray squirrel became friendly when blank 3 when the boy started to bring him pieces of cake and biscuit the squirrel blank 4 in the spring the banyan tree blank and blank would come there five the banyan tree served the boy as a blank six the young boy spent his afternoons in the tree b answer the following questions 1 it was to be a battle of champions 8 1 What qualities did the two champions have which is mongoose and cobra pick out words and phrase from the paragraph about this line in the next and write them down three words for mongoose and three words for cobra page 133 2 what did the cobra and the mongoose do to show their readiness for the fight 3 who were the other two spectators what did they do did they watch or did they join in the fight 10 3 read the descriptions here of what the snake did and what the mongoose did arrange their actions in the proper order 11 16 1 
One, ceased to struggle. Two, tried to mesmerize the mongoose. Three, coiled itself around the mongoose. Four, struck the crow. Five, struck again and missed. Six, struck on the side that the mongoose pretended to attack. You have to match with one, grabbed the snake by the snout. Two, dragged the snake into the bushes. Three, darted away and bit the cobra on the back. Four, pretended to attack the cobra on one side. Five, refused to look into the snake's eyes. And six, sprang aside, jumped in and bit. These sentences has to be written in the proper order about mongoose and cobra. 4. 1. What happened to the crow in the end? 16. 2. What did the miner do finally? 17. Working with language. A. 1. The word round usually means a kind of shape. What is its meaning in the story? 2. Find five words in the following paragraph which are generally associated with trees, but here they have been used differently. Underline the words. 134. Hari leaves for work at night every morning. He works in the local branch of the firm of which his uncle is the owner. Hari's success is really the fruit of his own labour. He is happy, but he has a small problem. The root cause of his problem is a stray dog near his office. The dog welcomes Hari with a loud bark every day. B. The words in the box are all words that describe movement. Use them to fill in the blanks in the sentences here. The words are dived, gliding, sprang, darting, whipped, back, delving. 1. When he began to trust me, the squirrel began blank into my pockets for morsels of cake. 2. I saw a cobra, blank, out of a clump of cactus. 3. The snake hissed, his forked tongue, blank, in and out. 4. When the cobra tried to bite it, the mongoose, blank, aside. 5. The snake, blank, his head, blank, to strike at the crow. 6. The birds, blank, at the snake. C. Find words in the story which show things striking violently against each other. 1. The cobra struck the crow, his snout, th, blank, ing, ing, against its body. 15. 2. The crow and the miner, C blank, L L blank, in the mid air. 13. 3. The birds dived at the snake, but B blank, D into each other instead. 14. Page 135. D. Look at these sentences. 1. In the spring, birds of all kinds would flock into the banyan tree's branches. I would, 2. I would spend the afternoons there. Grandfather, at 65, could no longer climb the banyan tree. 2. I could hide myself in its branches. 3. I could look down through the leaves at the world below. For I could read there. Wood tells us what the author used to do or what used to happen. Good tells us what the author was usually able to do or grandfather is now not able to do. Choose would and could 
to replace the italicized words in the following sentences. Grandfather says in the old days. One, elephants were able to fly in the sky like clouds. They were also able to change their shapes. They used to fly behind clouds and frighten them. People used to look up at the sky in wonder. Italicized words in this sentence were were able to fly. Two, because there was no electricity, he used to get up with the sun and he used to go to bed with the sun like the birds. Here, in this sentence, words are used and used to go and used to. Three, like the owl, he was able to see quite well in the dark. He was able to tell who was coming by listening to their footsteps. In this sentence, italicized words are was able to. Now speaking, look at these sentences. 1. The tree was older than grandfather. 2. Grandfather was 65 years old. How old was the tree? Can you guess? Page 136. 1. The tree was as old as Dehradun itself. Suppose Dehradun is 300 years old. How old is the tree? When two things are the same in some way, we use as. Here is another set of examples. 1. Mr. Sinha is 160 centimeters tall. 2. Mr. Gupta is 180 centimeters tall. 3. Mrs. Gupta is 160 centimeters tall. Mrs. Gupta is as tall as Mr. Sinha. Use the words in the box to speak about the people and the things below using as, as, or, er, which is er, than. The words in the box are tall, taller, cold, colder, hot, hotter, strong, stronger, short, shorter. Notice that in the word hot, the letter T is doubled when ER is added. 1. Heights. Zeba, 155 cm, Ruby, 150 cm and Rani, 155 cm. You have to use the word ER in comparison to these three girls for their heights. 2. Weightlifters Vijay is 50 kg, Akshay 50 kg, Anwar 65 kg. Page 137 3. City Temperatures Shimla 6 degrees Celsius, Gangtok 6 degrees Celsius and Srinagar 2 degrees Celsius. You have to write using ER for comparing the temperatures of these three cities. 4. Lens Rumi's pencil 3 inches long Mona's pencil 5 inches long, Raja's pencil 3 inches long. Again, you have to write here about all these three girls' pencil, which is the tallest pencil. C. Sorry, 5. City temperatures. Delhi, 43 degrees Celsius, Chennai, 39 degrees and Nagpur, 43 degrees Celsius. Again, you have to mention here about the temperature of these cities with comparison to one another. Page 138 Writing My favorite place Read again the paragraphs of the story in which the author describes the banyan tree and what he used to do there. Is there a place in your house or in your grandparents or uncles or aunt's houses that you specially like. Write a short paragraph about it saying 1. Where it is 
टू वॉट यू डू दे थ्री वाई यू लाइक इट यू मे इंस्टेड राइट अबाउट अ प्लेस यू लाइक और आर अफ्रेड ऑफ नो योर कंट्री आंसर्स आर हियर वन द महानदी मेजरिंग फोर्टी एट हंड्रेड मीटर्स द हीरा कुंड डैम इज द लार्जेस्ट इन द कंट्री टू तमिलनाडु द मर्जर ऑफ द अरेबियन सी द बे ऑफ बंगाल एंड द इंडियन ओशन एट दिस पॉइंट इज एन अनफर्गेटेबल स्पेक्टिकल थ्री टेन डिग्री चैनल